equation and its solution. How do we write the verbal statement, the sum of 5 and 3? We write it as 5 plus 3. This is a numerical expression. Now, let me say this verbal statement in a different way. The sum of a number and 5. Since this number is unknown, we express this unknown number by a variable x and thus write x plus 5. This is an algebraic expression as it consists of a variable. Now let us transform this verbal statement. The sum of a number and 12 equals to 15. This can be written as the sum of a number and 12 means x plus 12. Equals to 12 means equals to 15. Now this is no more called an algebraic expression. We call such statement as algebraic equation as there is an equal to sign here. An algebraic equation or simply an equation is a mathematical statement which consists of variables, constants and an equality sign. In this lesson, we will study about equations in more details and solving an equation. Mohan went to market to shop few types of stationery. He bought two notebooks and a storybook costing rupees 120. The cost of notebook was not known which we can consider as X. Mohan paid rupees 170 to the shopkeeper. Let us transform these verbal statements into an equation. We know that the cost of the notebook is rupees X and the cost of the storybook is rupees 120. The total cost of all the items is rupees 170 which Mohan paid to the shopkeeper. So, X plus 120 is equal to 170 is the required equation. An equation has two sides. The quantity on the left of equal to sign is usually called left hand side, in short LHS. And the quantity on the right of equal to sign is usually called right hand side, in short RHS. In this equation, the quantity x plus 120 is the LHS and the quantity 170 is the RHS. It is important that the value of these two quantities should always be equal. Then only we can say that the equation is true. Let us understand this with the help of a beam balance. Consider the same equation x plus 120 is equal to 170. We place the LHS of the equation on the left pan of the balance and the RHS on the right pan of the balance. Now, if we consider the value of x to be 10, then this value, as we can see here, does not satisfy the equation to be in balance. Let us put the value 20 in place of x. We still see that the equation is not balanced. If we put 60 in place of x, we see that the left side of the equation becomes greater and thus it does not balance the equation. If we put x equal to 50, we see that now the equation is balanced. Since the value 50 satisfies the equation to be in balance, therefore x is equal to 50 is the solution of the equation. The value of the variable in an equation which satisfies the equation is called the solution of the equation. 
Let us now see few examples to understand the topic better. Example 1. Is this an algebraic equation? 34 is equal to y plus 2. Yes, this is an algebraic equation as it contains a variable, a constant and the equal to sign. Example 2. Is this an algebraic equation? 6y minus 3 is greater than 45. No, this is not an algebraic equation. Though it consists of variables and constants, but does not contain any equal to sign. Example 3. Is this an algebraic equation? 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. No, this is not an algebraic equation as this doesn't contain variable. Example 4 is y is equal to 10. A solution of the equation 2x is equal to 10. No, y is not a solution of the given equation because if we put y is equal to 10 in the equation, we get 2 times 10 equals 20. Thus, LHS is not equal to RHS. Example 5 Is x is equal to 7 a solution of the equation 3x minus 1 is equal to 20? Let us put the value of x in the given equation. 3 times 7 is 21 minus 1 gives 20. So we get LHS equal to RHS. Thus, x is equal to 7 is a solution of the given equation.